In this episode, I am still covering the toolbar, and the next one in line is the rate stretch tool, which is the letter R. In a future episode, I'll have an episode on, on time remapping, which is something a bit different than this. It's, it's similar that you're slowing footage down or speeding it up, but uh, time remapping is kind of changing how it speeds up and slows down over time, that it'll go in regular speed, then suddenly slow down. The rate stretch tool is a little bit more simplistic than that. I'm going to hit R for my rate stretch tool here, and what that does is it changes the rate of your clip as it plays back. It's basically either slow motion or fast motion depending on which way you drag it here. So let's take a look at this clip right here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, this clip is just playing through regular, regular motion here. There we go, and just playing at regular motion. Now if we take our rate stretch tool and we move it to the end of this clip, and I click and I drag to the right, it will stretch this clip out and make it play over a longer period. If I make it about twice as long here, that's probably going to be around 50%. And I let go, and yes, sure enough, look at the percentage that I added right here. It is 51.95% that it's playing back at now. So that is playing at half the speed. Let's play that back and kind of watch what the video footage looks like. Notice it affects the audio as well. There you go, playing back in slow motion. So what you have to realize as well is this was shot at 24 frames per second. When it's stretched out, it's basically duplicating frames to be able to play it out at a, over a longer period. So this is not true slow motion. It's kind of the strobe slow motion where it's duplicating frames to try to get slow motion. Now if I do undo, control Z, I'm gonna move my mouse back over here and we grab this and drag it to the left and make it shorter. And I'm going to make it about as half as long here. It's going to play this clip, the exact same clip, over about half the amount of time. If we zoom up on this, look at that. Sure enough, it's around 200%. It's playing at double speed. Now let's take a look at what it looks like while we're playing. And it's playing super fast. There we go. So the rate stretch tool is just kind of a quick way to kind of stretch out to fill like a gap if you need to fill a gap between a couple of clips to make the clip play out a little bit longer and last a little bit longer right there. It's at 138%. You can, you can drag this, clear the freak out there and make this last as long as you want. And eventually it's going to get so slow it's just going to look like it's not even moving. Here's at 20%, so it's moving, it's just duplicating frames over 24 frames per second basically. And you can see this very strobe. It's not a true slow motion you basically need to shoot higher frame rate in order to get that true slow motion effect and then play it back at less frames per second. So this is a little bit different of a concept here, but that is basically what the rate stretch tool does. In the next episode, I will be covering the razor tool.